Hey everyone, I thought I would try something different. I have an unboxing video today. I got something new in the mail. Rather than just make a video, edit it all together later, I thought it'd be kind of fun to actually go through the experience with you, you going through the experience with me. Anyway, instead of all the big explanation, I got this today, the Sega Genesis Mini. This is actually really cool. I've been looking forward to this. I never had any interest in any of the at games consoles because I always heard they were so terrible. This one really got my attention because, I mean, you know how it goes. There's always like a million Sega compilations, but this one actually has some really unique titles. So here's the box, and I will show you everything. Well, some of those unique titles I was talking about is Castle of Illusion, which was one of my favorite games. Uh, they have Castlevania. They have Contra. These are always hard to find games. Mega Man The Wily Wars right here was only available on the Sega channel. They have unique titles like Darius and Tetris. So even Road Rash. I know EA doesn't really do a lot of anything with any of these uh, box, uh, these uh, mini consoles. But they decided to do something with that. And really, they were so integral to the Genesis experience. I mean, obviously, you're not going to get Madden or NHL or any of the really popular ones. And as happy as I am, they did have, like I said, Castle of Illusion. And they had World of Illusion somewhere right there. We go right there. They didn't have Aladdin and the Lion King, which were two of my personal favorite Genesis games. I was really bummed out to see that. But next month, they're doing a whole compilation on that. So I'll be picking those up on the Switch. It's like my Genesis library keeps growing almost close to what I used to have back in the day. I actually got one of these back in September of 1989. It was a birthday present from my mom and dad. So it's kind of cool that I'm kind of reliving that experience again as I'm not a teenager anymore, uh, but it's really cool to kind of have that experience again. So as I said, I thought it'd be cool to do an unboxing video, share it with you live so we both go through the experience together. It's not me going through editing, but let's check it out. Okay, I'm opening it up nice and easy. I had a handy dandy knife just in case it was hard to poke through. Here's the instructions, which these systems are literally plug and play, so I probably won't have to access that too much unless there's some cool hidden feature to them. We have the HD cable. Again, not too terribly exciting, but it is part of the thing to get the Genesis going. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. That was probably power plug. This is HD cable. So we're getting a little closer into the actual, what I like to call the fun parts. And let's see, this one's really nice because it, oops, there we go, that popped out. So that was the little plug unit and that will connect to the power cord. But this is something really nice. The Genesis actually included two controllers with this. So let's check them out together. I've actually really been looking forward to this. Genesis really was one of my favorite systems back in the day. These are nice. Yeah, these are real nice. They're about, yeah, they're the right feeling. They have a good feel to them. A little weighty, not too, um, not too light, not too dainty. I feel like I can actually do some decent playing. But, God, I played a lot of games with this. So I'm definitely, yeah, it, even the back of it just looks like a standard, honest-to-goodness, real Genesis controller. It doesn't look like one of those cheap knockoffs, which I think is super cool. So let's see what else we got. We have the other controller. Again, I'm just really grateful that they have two controllers so I can actually invite some of my old friends over and we can pick up where we left off a couple years ago before all the college days. But yeah, these are really nice. The buttons feel good. They're not sticking, which is a really nice feature for this. The, the D-pad feels nice. It doesn't feel too floaty. It might have been a little tighter back in the day, but that might be memory playing tricks on me. But overall, it has a good feel to it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these work in action. So let's get into the part that I've really been looking forward to. I hope they got it in a little teeny tiny box. They want to build up that last minute anticipation before you actually go into it. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's, that's great. Okay. I really loved how, at the time, I thought this was such a futuristic system. We've got a little bit of uh, plastic covering just to protect 
check the logos and the labels and everything. Oh, wow, that even has that little shine to it, and it's even raised like the actual Genesis. as the high-definition graphics. has the little volume slider. The headphone jack, I know people were asking about the headphone jack for this. Does it do anything? No. It does not do any access for any sort of like stereo speakers or headphones or anything, so that's not happening. The little cartridge port works, which is just a nice touch. I know they have in Japan this thing called the Tower of Power, which you can add like a 32X and a Sonic game and a Sonic and Knuckles, which Sonic and Knuckles is not included on here. Sorry, guys. Um, and then even on the bottom right here, they have a port for the Sega CD, which they also made a tiny replica for that as well. That None of that does anything, but it's just crazy and kind of funny that they actually made sure to include all that, at least for uh, Japanese gamers anyway. But I actually had the Sega CD too, the one that actually went out to the side and you actually had to put that little base on underneath the whole thing. But um, yeah, I, I really like these classic systems. There was the NES Classic and the Super Nintendo Classic, and even PlayStation, I, I felt, had some pretty major issues in terms of emulation, and that was a bummer back then. But it was still a nice-looking system. Like, the outer shell of it was really, really cool. Little little on and off button. It's so weird. I'm so used to having such a larger system, so I feel like I'm just, like, either my hands grew to, like, massive size, but... Um, this is a very perfect replica of a Genesis in teeny tiny form. And this is just, I don't know, I'm really pleased. This is this is just a great looking little system, and I'm looking forward to adding that. Uh, I'm actually planning to get the TurboGrafx-16 Mini that's coming out next year, and that's like an Amazon exclusive. So I'm going to have the full 16-bit wars in front of my TV again. It's like I still have some of my original cartridges, but unfortunately some have been lost over time. But all in all, this is a really nice setup. This has 42 different games. The Super Nintendo Classic had 21, and this is double the size. So even if like not every game is to your liking, you should be able to find something that's gonna work for you. And again, I'm so stoked because Castle of Illusion was one of my personal favorites growing up. And they did the remake a couple years ago, but they haven't really done anything with it since in terms of like being able to access it. I had an Xbox 360. I heard they put it on the PS3. I didn't get a chance to get that one. But overall, it's got a solid title. It has every major Sega franchise represented. It has Alex Kidd. It has uh, Golden Axe, of course. It has Space Terrier. It has somewhere around here, Super Fantasy Zone, Shinobi, Streets of Rage. Of course, there's three Sonic games and Wonder Boy. I mean, they basically have all the original Sega franchises represented. And even if, like, not every game is, like, your personal favorite, at least they have, like, all the games that they were known for, both, like, in the arcade Although I will take it back, they don't have a Thunderblade and they don't have a Hang On. So those are like the only two. And if you're a sports game fanatic, this probably isn't going to do much for you. But if you can get past that, that's, again, great, great titles overall. Uh, I, I think one of the hardest things, and I, I think one of the most impressive things, especially with Castle of Illusion and World of Illusion, I would have loved to have Quackshot in there. And there were other games that Sega did. You know, I liked Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I loved Ghostbusters, Jurassic Park, especially like their X-Men games and Spider-Man. And I've talked about some of those on the channel elsewhere. But those were really cool games, and I wish those had been able to be included, especially since most of those things are Disney now. At least they could have gotten Spider-Man or X-Men. But overall, you know, it's a great lineup. It gives you a good sampling across the board. Again, sports is kind of weak on this, but I'm not really a sports game player, so it doesn't really affect me, but I know how important it was to others. So, you know, I'm not, not discounting that. It just, it doesn't really affect me either way. Um, there were certain titles I would have liked to have had. There are certain titles I never got to try, like Alyssa Dragoon or even Beyond Oasis. I never really got into that. I was starting moving in 32-bit age. And I'm glad they put Earthworm Jim on here because I think, just the urban edgy grittiness of it really went better on the Genesis than the Super Nintendo. So again, I'm excited. This is a really cool lineup. 
of course, this comes like in the worst week ever because this is going to be the Sega Genesis Mini and then New Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which comes out tomorrow. So it's going to be a thing, and I'm going to have to learn how to deal with uh, my game playing time as best as I possibly can this weekend. But Sega Genesis Mini is out. And again, I'm really happy they did a beautiful job recreating the original console. Just kind of fills me with warm fuzzies over that. But definitely check it out. I'm excited. I'll let you know later video probably how it plays. And until that next time, I'll see you then.